When you're working with energy conversion systems, you'll often encounter a situation where multiple machines are connected together. In this video, we'll show how the total system efficiency can be calculated when you know the efficiency of the individual components. To demonstrate, we'll assume this system We start with a generator on the left. The generator feeds a pair of transformers. Now these transformers work together to allow the voltage to be transmitted a long distance. Basically one transformer steps the voltage up, thereby reducing the current. The other transformer steps the voltage down. This double conversion allows us to transmit the electrical power over long distances with minimal loss. For the rest of our system, we have a motor but we wanted that motor to operate at variable speed, so we added what's called a variable frequency drive. For now, just know that this consists of two conversions. We'll convert AC to DC and then DC back to AC. In the future, I hope to make a video explaining why we would go through this double conversion process. Now that we have our cascade of equipment, we can record the efficiencies of the individual machines. We see the transformers are about 95% efficient. The variable frequency drive is somewhere around 92, and the motor itself is at 93% efficient. In a previous video, we show that efficiency, which we sometimes symbolize as the lowercase Greek letter eta, which looks like an N. Anyway, efficiency is equal to power out over power in. And that's useful power out, not to be confused with the heat loss that we have in the system. What we'll do now is look at the very first stage in our cascade. We know the efficiency is 95%, which we write here is not 0.95. And what we're going to do is we're going to assume a power input of one unit. And from there, we can calculate power out. And you can see that power out will be not 0.95 units. And we'll write that up here next to the generator. So one unit in, not 0.95 units out. Now, I'm going to erase this and we'll look at the second stage. Once again, the efficiency is not 0.95, but this time we don't have one unit of power in, we have not 0.95 units of power in. So when we multiply these two together, we see that the power output is approximately not 0.9. Now we'll take this one step further and look at the input and output of the variable frequency drive. The variable frequency drive has an efficiency of not 0.92 and the power going in is not 0.9. We can see that the output power is the product of these two which is equal to not 0.83. We could go one step further but I think you see the pattern. The total system efficiency is equal to the product of the individual efficiencies. So in this case, it's not 0.95 times not 0.95. That takes care of both transformers. The variable frequency drive is not 0.92, and the motor is not 0.93, which gives us a total system efficiency of 77%.